Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading. So today I'm doing this reading to find out your messages from your ancestors. Okay, so as you see in this image where you have three different landscapes and and all of them are nature beautiful rich in nature landscapes one is a forest with a brook one is with the mountains one is an, another mountains where the clouds are flowing in it's early dawn and the fourth one is a waterfall image so you can take your time see which is the image that draws you that draws your attention that attracts you the most these are all animated images and take your time to pick your pile, okay? And I will see you in your chosen pile. So pile number one, whoever chose the first image, which is the forest and the brook, and you have this very deep foliage covering the sky. The sunlight is barely passing through the leaves, the deep forest and lighting up the river, the brook. And this image gives me a very, very mystical uh, energy around you. Okay, I see that uh, pile number one, whoever have chosen this image um you guys are you guys are you know you connect with the fairy realm a lot okay you are connected you connect with fairies or elves or these mystical uh beings you might be attracted to a lot of uh, you, you might be attracted to different animals and you might find that animals are attracted to you. It's like a very easy connection for you between, uh, between you and any new animal, okay? Uh, you just happen to uh, meet a new being, a puppy or a cat or any animal, any wild animal, and they're immediately... Uh, connected with you they connect with your energy they like you um, they like being around you and vice versa you like being around them too so I feel a very strong connection with other beings um, in addition to human beings you have a strong connection with other beings around you okay pile number one so let's move on to your tarot cards and your oracle cards and see what these cards have to say i'll be using two different decks and of tarot cards two different decks of tarot cards and two different decks of oracle cards so let's move in so pile number one whoever chose this image let's find out more details about you Pile number one, let's find out more details about you and then I will find uh, messages from your ancestors. Pile number one, what's your energy like? Pile number one, what is your current energy like? Pile number one, what is your current energy like? For those of you, if you're wondering which deck I'm using, I'm using the Beloved Dead Tarot deck by Paris and Hart. File number one, what is your current energy like? Act of love be you. I see you are in your happiest phase of your life, pile number one, okay? You are very content with 
your life you're very content with yourself you are vibrating in in your highest vibration by number 1 okay i feel that you are surrounded by high energy beings you're surrounded by angels and fairies who are very high vibrational creatures and they are constantly uplifting your mood they are constantly dancing to your beats it's like it's a very beautiful connection where you both you and the beings around you are enjoying the moment okay um very beautiful uplifting energy i hope you can see this image how this lady how this woman with wings is feeling like dancing and enjoying the moment and i also see that your ancestors are cherishing this thing about you that you are loving your time on this planet earth you are loving your uh, life you are living a life full of contentment fulfillment and joy and your ancestors are proud of it your ancestors love that you're enjoying yourself on this planet earth file number 1 perception for pile number 1 i see that you guys have a very very different perception on life okay you are not put down by anything negative happening around you it's not easy to change your uh it's not easy to pull your vibration down it's not easy to uh make you feel low what i see what i feel is you are so high spirited you are so um you know attuned to the high vibrational energy you're so attuned to the happiness and joy and love and fulfillment and contentment that it is very very difficult to make you feel sad angry unhappy jealous or any kind of those negative low vibrational energies your perception about life is very very high vibrational okay your perception about anything in general is very positive and it's very very difficult to break that strong belief system that you have and that is coming from a very strong lineage of your ancestors your ancestors possessed the strong mental strength the strong belief on their on the, on them on or on themselves sorry for stammering and they had a strong trust on the universe that everything that is happening around them is for their best okay nothing is working against them everything that is happening around them is for their best interest and no matter how situations are around you you are always looking at the best possible outcome and the best possible way forward communication your ancestors are are i think they're constantly in communication with you it's not that you have never communicated with your ancestors i see that most of you pile number 1 who have chosen the spile are in a very strong bond with your ancestors you know that you have these ancestors who are looking after you you know very strongly that you're being supported you're being protected by your ancestors okay there's a very strong communication between you and your ancestors pile number 1 and sometimes for some of you uh i feel that 
it's the connection is so strong that you almost feel that they are around you it's like you sometimes feel their physical presence around you it's so strong okay especially in times when you feel like you need protection okay in times when you are feeling the need to be protected in times when you feel the need to be guarded to be shielded you feel that your ancestors are around you trying to protect you okay and that feeling is very very beautiful and um very sacred pile number 1 beautiful energies drama your ancestors are i i i get an energy of very very fun loving ancestors pile number 1 your ancestors love to have fun okay this drama is showing me that they love to have a good laugh okay no matter what the situation is they would love to have a good laugh on it and carry on with a very vibrant and good mood okay um and they want to tell you that no if if you are in any kind of a situation which is not comfortable take it lightly and move on have a good laugh on it if you if you if you're failing to do something laugh learn to laugh on your mistakes okay have that fun that innocent inner child laugh and move on do not try to you know get pulled by the drama of not having enough or not getting it there where you want it to do not get pulled by the drama of not getting the desired results no matter how the situation plays off pile number 1 i see a situation where if you are in a situation of you know having a battle having a fight or having an argument with someone try to have a different a different perspective around it your ancestors are trying to tell you that um how you're looking at this argument or miscommunication with this person is not what you think it is okay try to change your perspective around it your ancestors are trying to tell you that you are you know giving it too much importance you are it's like it's not as bad as you think the scenario is playing out as a drama okay it's too dramatic cut off the drama and look at it in the core in the skeleton of it and you will find that the situation is not as bad as you think okay pile number 1 so that's an intuitive message that i get from your ancestors pile number 1 whatever situation you may be in related to a problem in your life or a rift in your life or an argument with someone just cut off the drama okay and see it at its core and you'll realize if you see it if you look at it from a different different perspective you will feel much more lighter and happier and you will realize that this that the situation is not as heavy as you think it is so that's a strong message for you pile number 1 let me move on to another deck and see what other messages do i get from your ancestors pile number 1 the fool 
be very light-hearted okay your ancestors are trying to tell you that be light-hearted as you all or you are you already are be you do not get pulled by drama around you okay do not get pulled by situations that is heavy on you do not get affected by situations that try to uh pull you down or you know make you feel um make you feel low in some in some way be embody the fool's energy here the fool's energy is full of innocence childlike enthusiasm and that vigor to explore things with curiosity and that newness and freshness do not hold on to things that are not working in your favor by number 1 very important message do not get attached to any outcome that is not desired by you always move forward with an intention with a goal with a fresh new perspective that you are ready to explore more that is lying ahead of you do not let past failures hold you back okay pile number 1 what else Ten of Swords. Because if you let past pain hold you, you will feel miserable. Pile number one, and your ancestors do not want that for you. Okay, these swords are thoughts, and if you tend to overthink, you are going to drain your energy. Your energy is going to come down. You will feel heavy. You will feel. uh demotivated and you'll not have the energy to do your best ace of swords cut through all the drama cut through whatever is is causing friction in your life okay so ten of swords is coming right under perception here and the ace of swords is coming right under communication have your communication clear think very straight cut the drama cut all the nonsense don't beat around the nail and hit the nail on the head okay don't beat about the bush you need to have clarity in your mind and you will have it when you cut through all the nonsense thoughts going on in your mind and have a clear perspective on where you're headed why you're headed in that direction okay your ancestors are very very wise and giving you this wisdom of having the clarity of thought magician beautiful I see that one strong message that is coming to uh, uh, to me with magician coming right under drama is that do not let social media spoil your mood okay do not let what is happening in the outer world take away from what is it that you have inside you for example you get so pulled sometimes you might get so pulled by the drama in in the social media in, in whatever platforms you are in that you forget or you lose you lose track of time and do not put as much attention to your skill set as you would or as you should 
For example, in the situation, you have a skill set of, uh, you know, painting, and you have multiple uh, options. You have multiple media to try, and you're good at it. You you like to sketch. You like to use watercolors. You like to use oil paints. You like to use acrylic, and you want to explore. You want to. You are so uh, vibrant with ideas you have so many ideas going on in your head and in addition to those ideas you go on the internet you go on the social media you look for you go to pinterest for example and look for ideas and you get so lost and caught up in the array of options and you know uh, different techniques and different colors and everything that you're so caught in the drama that you forget to actually put your skill to action okay so your ancestors are trying to tell you that stay away from drama and focus on your skill set you have everything that you have you have everything that you need you have all the skill sets that you want uh, to have you you have everything that you need to succeed in your path by number one and you need to focus you have to have focus and not struggle not fight with external any external um, situations all these external influences are trying to you know um shift your perspective which is not good for you you have to have your own perspective and stick to it pile number one okay let me pull some oracle cards for now and see oops we can give this a good shuffle first i'm using the angels and ancestors oracle cards by kyle gray So pile number one, what does your ancestors want to tell you at this moment? Air guardian, shift your perspective again. Oh my goodness. So perspective is something that is repeatedly coming out in your reading pile number one. I see a strong, strong need to shift your perspective a strong need to have that laser sharp focus probably you're too uh, your thought process is too diluted by a lot of things happening around you okay pile number one I see that your guardian angels and your ancestors are guiding you to change the way you think about certain situations as that could be what is standing between your you and your success by number one. If you are being challenged or feel that there's a lack of clarity and direction in your life at the moment, there is a good chance that the way you're thinking is what um, or what you're focusing on is the blockage. Okay? Whatever situation you are in, whatever path you are in, you're asked to go beyond your limiting beliefs and set yourself free to recognize your true skill set. I see opportunities are coming towards you, but you have to open up. Because unless you open up and do the internal work to support what is coming towards you, it's difficult. 
So pile number one, overall, I see that a clear, a change of thought, having a clear mental process, having a clear routine or write it down. Probably journaling will help. Okay, because I see con con conflicting thoughts in your mind, which is blocking you. Pile number one. What else? Winter. Take care of your needs. Pile number one, I see that you are ignoring your soul urge. You know what your soul needs, but you're ignoring it. Because you are... Uh, because you're, you're avoiding to look in that direction for some reason. There is some kind of a friction in that path. For example, you are just pursuing a career path. You've just graduated. You are trying to figure out what career suits me. And um, you have a whole lot of, you know, uh, you have a whole bunch of people trying to push you in a certain career path. Like your mom is trying to uh, push you into the path of becoming a doctor. Your dad is trying to push you in the direction of becoming an MBA, uh, into um, MBA student or prepare for MBA or engineering or stuff like that. But you know what you want to, but you are trying to, you know, Push it under the carpet and not attend to your needs. Probably you have a total different genre of skills that is very different from what your parents want. Probably you love choreography or dancing or into art field. And you're not taking care of your needs. And that is like your need, your soul need, your soul urge. If you're not paying attention to that, following someone else's path will be very difficult for you, pile number one. Your ancestors are warning you to first take care of your needs. Unless you feed your soul, you'll not be able to make others happy. Okay, pile number one. Let me put... Pull some cards from this deck. I'm using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley. So file number one, what wisdom do you need? Centering. Center yourself, center your mind, calm your mind, be in a meditative state and, and see what comes up. Ask your question, center yourself and see what comes up. Okay, the moment you center, I see that your ancestors and your spirit guides, your guardian angels will drop very, very, uh, you know, gentle notions that will come suddenly in your thoughts and you'll know it is for you. I see that this centering card invites you to align with your core essence, pile number one, and go forward in life with a strong sense of purpose. I see that you have a strong desire to define yourself, but somehow with whatever is happening around you is distracting you. Things are constantly changing around you and you are called to be flexible and centered to survive. 
You need to focus your attention inwards, pile number one, and gain strength to act. Do not react, but act. By acting to external influences, I see that you will prioritize your core values. No matter what is happening around you, pile number one, your ancestors are trying to tell you that instead of reacting to your external influences, change your perspective, change your thought and focus on acting to how you can deal with these external influences by going inwards, by working on yourself, by centering yourself, by having that clear focused direction of thoughts, of streamlining your thoughts, of having that clarity of what you are going forward for, what you're aiming for, what is your goal, what milestone you're trying to achieve. Have that clarity and things will work out like magic for you. Okay, so that was your reading pile number one. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this. Share it with your friends so that they can enjoy this too. And I will see you very soon in some other reading. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. So pile number two, whoever chose... The river flowing between the beautiful lush mountains. This is your reading. I see that you guys love to be constantly on the go. Okay, You guys do not like to sit still. That's the kind of energy I'm getting for you. Pile number two. You are constantly on the go. You like to be moving all the time. Probably traveling is something that you guys love. And some of you, I see that you guys love could could be, you know, um, you guys love to trek. Okay, hiking, trekking is something of your interest. You are someone who is adventurous. You are someone who is not um, frightened by mountains or not frightened by the idea of climbing rocks and mountains, uh, like hiking and trekking excite you. You love the adventure that comes with hiking and trekking. And um, your, 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 high, your upper chakras, your crown chakra is very open. You, you guys have an athletic body. Okay, so let's move on to your pile, pile number two, and see what does, what messages uh, your ancestors have for you today. Okay, so let's pull your cards and see what messages do we have for you. You have, I'm using the Beloved Dead Oracle by Carrie Paris and Tina Hart. So what messages do we have for pile number two? Okay, we all have two cards. Justice and Compass. Interesting. So pile number two, right away we have Justice, which tells me that you are someone who is very, very righteous. You're very fair. You think twice before taking any side. Okay, you do not randomly take sides. You listen to both parties and take sides. You do not favor anyone by random relationships. Or you do not basically favor without, you know, listening to their part. For example, your friend 
um, two of your friends have are into a conflict and you will not randomly pick sides. You will listen to both of their sides and see which which side aligns to your values and thoughts. You have a moral compass. You're constantly guided by your moral compass. Your moral compass is very strong, pile number two. Okay? It's very difficult to um, steer you in a different direction. People cannot mold you or flatter you and get you navigate into a different direction. You have a very, very moral, strong moral compass that doesn't let you shift from your path. And that is a very, very strong quality. Your ancestors are proud of you for this quality. Pile number two. Let's find out what else do your spirit, your ancestors have for you. Spirit throne. You are someone, pile number two, that you are, you, like all of you who have chosen this pile, pile number two, you guys have a very, very strong judgment capacity. It's like you embody the qualities of a judge, a king, a ruler, an emperor. Okay, you are worthy of sitting on a throne and deciding who is right and who is wrong. Okay, and you have this quality of making the best decisions. You have the quality of making the most uh, fair decisions. A lot of you could be into... Um, studying uh, law or you know you may be advocates or you may be in this field of you know um, law or uh, court things you hold a lot of knowledge you hold a lot of power by number two you guys are very, very knowledgeable. You have a lot of wisdom. And your ancestors are proud of it. This quality I see has been passed on to you from generations. It's not just by accident. You are gifted because... This quality of right judgment has been passed on to you from your ancestors. Appearance. You do not judge the book by its cover. Okay, pile number two. Appearance has very has actually nothing to do with what you perceive about a person or a situation no matter how the situation appears to you you make sure that you go to the depth of it and find the truth and that is your strong power that is your quality pile number two I see that your ancestors are ready for you to invite them for a conversation, to connect with them. For any doubt that you have on any situation. Pile number two, I see that for any clarification, if you are in a situation of doubt, or if you are in a situation of seeking, uh, you, you are in a situation of seeking wisdom from your ancestors or seeking 
uh, advice on a certain situation or a certain part of your life or a certain sector of your life, your ancestors are trying to tell you that they are ready to assist you. I also get a message from your ancestors that they are trying to tell you that stay away from harsh criticism. If you feel that you are being criticized harshly, stay away from it. Or if you are criticizing someone based on their appearance, stop doing it. Because what you see from the outside is not actually true. Okay, pile number two. Let's pick up another deck and find more messages. Pile number two. What do you need to know? Pile number two. What do you need to know? Two cards again. Seven of Pentacles and the Hierophant. This could be a situation where you are waiting for a decision by number two okay and your ancestors are trying to tell you that wait on it okay wait it over the decision will be in your favor all you need to do is wait on it and not get affected by how things look like at the present Justice, the Seven of Pentacles coming right under justice is telling me that justice is coming to you. Be patient, be persistent, have the perseverance and things are going to reap its fruits. It's just a matter of time that is standing between you and your goals. The Hierophant coming under compass is telling you that your wisdom is your compass. You are supposed to navigate your path ahead by, by understanding how you feel about a certain situation. Pay attention to how you feel around a situation. And that is your compass. And you know whether to move forward or not. Okay? The secret lies in your moral compass. See what is aligned to your values, what is aligned to your uh, your thoughts, your um, sense of justice and sense of fairness and do only that that allows your conscious, your conscious mind, your conscience. I mean to say that listen to your conscience and act accordingly. Okay, the key, the Hierophant is about holding the key to something and you, your key is in your conscience. What else? Eight of Swords. Your ancestors feel your ancestors feel stuck because unless you call upon them, unless you acknowledge them, unless you call for help, they are not able to come to you 
to guide you. Pile number two, very, very important. Your ancestors are ready to jump in and give you some direction, to give you some wisdom, to, to guide you. All you need to do is call them. Okay, pile number two. How you do it is by lighting a white candle and offering some white flowers. Possibly jasmine is a very good jasmine flowers are um, uh, your ancestors will love if you offer them jasmine and light a white candle okay you can also burn some sandalwood incense to acknowledge your ancestors presence and call upon them to help you navigate the situation that you're in okay they feel stuck because they want to help you but they aren't because you haven't called upon them they feel that if they come in without your permission, it will you will feel like you're being intruded, okay? And they don't want to intrude in your private life. Pile number two, very important. If you want to seek uh, wisdom, uh, your, your guidance from your ancestors, please acknowledge your ancestors by lighting a white candle, offering some flowers, white flowers, any white flowers but jasmines are good. You can light a sandalwood incense and call upon them with all your heart and love and tell them in what situation of your life you want their um, wisdom and guidance for you. And they'll be more than happy to help you by number two. Last card for the spine from this deck four of cups see i just spoke about it they are offering you something you're busy looking at your problems you're busy looking at what you should do what path you should take what decision you should make you're not sure you're unsure you're feeling stagnant you're feeling stuck your ancestors are very very willing to offer you help you have to look in the right direction by acknowledging them, by acknowledging their presence, file number two. Okay? So let's pick up the other oracle deck, which is Ancest Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. File number two, what messages do we have for you traveler move in a new direction okay you need to move in a new direction whatever direction you're moving in is probably leading you into a dead end and things are not working out you need to move you need to change your direction and the compass will show you the direction and I've already spoken about what your compass is. Your compass is your inner compass, your inner guidance. Okay, your intuition, your moral values, what you think is right, what you think is wrong. That is going to help you navigate further in life. Move in a new direction. Very, very important message for you here. Let's pick up this card. This is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley. And let's see what wisdom comes up for you, pile number two. Can we have a card for pile number two, please? Surrender. How beautiful. Surrender. Trust the guidance that is coming forward from your ancestors. Trust. Listen to the guidance. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your um, inner voice, your gut feeling and move in the direction. Surrender. Do not fight against it. Okay. Accept it. Be in the present moment. Accept what is 
troubling you, feel it and surrender. Surrender your heart, your body, your everything to the situation and trust that your angels, guardian angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors are here to help you out, navigate out from this difficult situation that you're in. Okay, so that was your beautiful, beautiful guidance. Uh, pile number two, I hope you loved the reading. I enjoyed reading for you and share it with your friends and family. Uh, give it a like if you enjoyed uh, listening to this reading and you found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't so that you can be notified every time I upload a new tarot reading video. And I will see you very soon in another pick a pile reading. Okay, till then, take care. Bye bye. So pile number three, whoever chose this beautiful image of the clouds passing by the beautiful mountains and forest. It's like an early dawn scene, a beautiful morning with the sun rising and the clouds drifting away slowly as the sun rises up. Okay, so this is a very beautiful, soothing morning scene. And I feel the cool wind uh, in the scene. And I feel that pile number three, you guys, you all of you who have chosen this pile have a very, very calm and serene aura. Okay, you have a very strong intuition. Your third eye is very, very active. Your crown chakra and your third eye, basically, these upper two chakras, the sixth and seventh chakras are very active. You are a morning person. You love to rise up early in the morning. Go for your morning walks, morning jogs. Like to start your day early. And you love being, uh, you know, out in the nature. Okay, pile number three. And let's find out what messages do we have for you from your ancestors. Okay, so let's pick up these cards. Um, reading from the beloved uh, the beloved uh, dead oracle by Carrie Paris and Tina Hart. Okay, so let's begin your reading pile number three. So, pile number three, what messages do your ancestors have for you? Pile number three. Okay, a lot of cards popped up. I see that your ancestors are very chatty today, okay? So we have optimism, act of love, objectivity and player. Let's pull out another card. Attention. So pile number three, I see that you're definitely a morning person and you have, because you are a morning person, you love to uh, start your day early. You're filled with optimism. You're a very, very optimistic person. And you're always uh, looking in the positive direction. You are always looking in the direction of hope and happiness and joy and positivity okay and i see that your ancestors love this quality about you and they want you to put this beautiful skill that you have of looking at the positive side no matter what is happening around you into paying attention to that positive approach of yours and play it in your life in reality okay you have i see that you have this tool set of 
navigating beautifully in your life through this positive set of things that you do you ha it's like you carry the suitcase of everything that is required for a positive living okay you have a very objective way of looking at things you you rise up early you you love to you know uh take care of your health you love to take care of your mental health you love to focus on positivity you love to read of affirmations probably start your day with happy positive vibes and your ancestors want you to pay attention to this and play it in your lives in a way that it reaps you benefit currently you are it's like you are um unknowingly living this positive life because you are drawn to living that way but you are not aware of what benefits can you draw from this okay you are totally unaware from the um potency how potent is the skill set that you have okay to play ahead in life it's like you have all the cards to win a gamble but you don't know yet when to show the right cards to win a game okay and your ancestors want you to pay attention to that and that's a very strong message that i'm getting from your ancestors pile number 1 uh, sorry pile number 3 you have everything that you need to win you are a winner you can achieve everything that you want in life but you are doing everything good you're going in the right direction you're going in the perfect direction you are positive you are in the perfect mindset you have everything you have all the tools set but you what you lack is intention pile number 3 put that intention and do what you're doing with the intention of why you're doing it and that's when magic is going to come into your life for example you love to wake up early in the morning now you do it without really knowing why you love to wake up early in the morning sit back and think what makes you an early riser what are these this quality of rising early how is this quality of rising early in the morning can help you become a more productive person now you put your intention with aligning your energies to the sun when you align your waking up time to the sunrise timing you're aligning your energy with the sun and the sun is the ruler of all of of our planet it's the it's the epitome of source energy and when you set the energy when you set the intention of setting your power as high as the sun and with that intention you continue to wake up early in the morning do your morning walks do your morning jogs do your morning early morning routines with the intention of doubling your your power you will see the difference in your output okay so that is what your ancestors want to tell you here very very wise message for you pile number 
Let me pick up another deck and see what else do we have for you here by number three. Pile number three, what do we have here? Three of Pentacles. Optimism. Your ancestors are trying to tell you that the optimism, the positive vibe that you have, you are supposed to, you know, share it in a group, in a team. You being optimistic alone will not help. Don't hold it to yourself. Don't hold this skill of being positive all the time to yourself. Spread it. If you are working in a team and you are the only one who is looking at the positive side, that will not help unless you spread that positivity into the other two team members. Suppose all of you, all three of you are looking at the positive side of something. Imagine how strengthened that bond will be, how strengthened that outcome of the team will be. So you are advised, your, your ancestors are advising you to spread your optimism and positivity with your fellow members, your team members, with your family members, whoever are around you so that you get the maximum benefits out of it. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands coming under act of love objectivity is that you have the skill set of looking at life with an objective point of view. And that is your superpower. Okay, pile number three, you have the superpower of looking at it at a very objective way. Okay, and that's that brings a spark in you. People are attracted to you because of this quality of yours. Page of Wands. Page of Wands are play and coming under the player. Under player is trying to tell you that uh, pile number three. Your ancestors want you to have that enthusiasm about learning a new skill. Okay, there is a lot of uh, hint about learning a new skill. Okay, pay attention to a new skill. For some reason, for pile number three people, if you are thinking about learning something creative, learning something new, Please go ahead because your ancestors are consistently hinting or, you know, pointing out at a new, um, a new activity that fills your life with a lot of enthusiasm, action and uh, excitement. Okay, it could be a sport. It could be a sport even. Or it could be a skill, uh, an artistic skill. Five of Wands. Your ancestors tell you that you lack attention, my dear. You have everything. You have the positivity. You have the skill set. You have everything. What you lack is attention. You need to pay attention to what you do when you do. Okay, file number three. Your ancestors are telling you that in a team, you could be the one who is the most optimistic and the most creative and the most enthusiastic. But if you do not channel that, you know, that energy into the other two members or the rest of the team members, there is going to be a mismatch of energy and it is going to cause a lot of conflict, disagreement and misunderstandings. 
So pile number three, your advice is to spread your knowledge, spread your optimism, your positivity, keep it wherever you go. You need to spread your happiness and your energy of positivity amongst the people you're working with. Okay, and pay attention to what you do and why you do. Put intention into it and pay attention to it. Okay, so let's pick up another set of cards, which is this Oracle deck. Uh, Angels and Ancestors by Kyle Gray. And let's see what messages pop up for you. Pile number three. Stargazer. Set your sights higher. Okay. This is it. Set your sights higher. You probably do not know your potential. Pile number three. Clearly. You have the potential to do a lot more than you think. You have the skill set to do a lot, lot more than you ever aim for. It's like you have everything that people, you know, uh, fight for. A lot of us are, you know, we want to wake up early in the morning. We want to start our morning with a positive frame of mind. We want to have this optimism throughout the day. But we struggle. We, we just cannot. And you are naturally blessed with this kind of, uh, you know, personality. And you don't know your words, pile number three. With this skill set that you already have, you can achieve the stars. All you need to do is pay attention and have the strong um, goal setting in your mind. Let's pick up another oracle deck, which is um, Vintage Wisdom Oracle by victoria mostly and let's find out another message for you by number three transition i see that your ancestors are trying to tell you that your life is about to transition into a new phase very soon. Okay? Be ready to to walk into a new phase of your life where you are learning a new skill and putting it into use. You are transitioning from being naive to someone who is mature and knows what he is doing and why he is doing. He or she. Okay, you are about to realize your fullest potential. And this transition phase is a very important phase for you. Because you need to be working on your skill set and honing your skills by paying close attention to your schedule. Okay, so that was your reading pile number three. I hope this was helpful. Please hit the like button if you like this reading and share it with your friends and family subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and i will see you very soon in some other pick up aisle reading okay till then take care bye bye so pile number four whoever chose this beautiful lush green waterfall image let's 
move on to your pile. I see that pile number four, you guys are very spontaneous, okay? It's like your communicative skills are very strong. You don't really think before you speak. And it's like words naturally flow into your mouth and it just automatically comes to you. And um, you guys are very beautiful uh, speakers. You can be very... Uh, attractive public speakers okay you have beautiful speaking skills and that is coming from your ancestors okay pile number four let's pick up some cards for you to see what messages do you have from your ancestors okay so i'm using the beloved tarot the beloved dead tarot deck by carrie paris and tina hart and let's find out messages for you from your ancestors. File number four. File number four. What messages do we have for you here? File number four's ancestors. Labor. You guys are very hardworking, I must say. File number four. Okay, you guys are very, very hardworking. And you're good at it. You understand the importance of putting the sweat of your brow to anything that you do. You believe that when you put your sweet label, when you put your sweat into something when you do something with all your heart and your body the results are always miraculous and you believe it to the core of your heart pile number three sorry pile number four you're very very passionate about your work whatever you do you put your heart your soul your body your mind to it and your ancestors love this quality about you. They are proud that this quality of um, putting your everything into your work comes from them. Okay, your ancestors are like that. Your ancestors are very, very hardworking and you have inherited this quality from your ancestors. This could be a quality from your grandparents, from your grandfather's side. Home, yeah. I feel a very strong grandfather energy here. And they are very proud of you at this moment, pile number four, whoever have chosen this pile. They are always around you, pile number four. Your ancestors are always around you. And they're looking at you with magnifying glasses. Can you see this image where this woman is holding a magnifying glass around uh, in her hand? She's sipping on some cocktail maybe. If there's a glass, there's a goblet in her, in her hand, in her right hand and a magnifying glass on her left hand. You are a perfectionist, pile number four, okay? You put every, your everything into your, your craft, your work, your whatever you do. Most probably you are someone who is into uh, working with your hands. You are, you are a sculptor or an artist or something 
that is, uh, you know, that has to be done with your hands. And you are a perfectionist. Okay? You look everything, you look at every detail with a magnifying glass. You enjoy your work and you are uh, an absolute perfectionist. Unless what you're working on is perfect, you will not uh, leave it. The witch. You have uh, a very strong intuition, as I said. Your 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 you know. Um, You're very intuitive, okay? And I said you work on a craft, something with your hands. Like witches are always working with their hands. They're crafting something. They're doing a craft, um, crafting a spell, writing a petition, making candles, making incense, making oil blends, everything with their hands. And you also imbibe that quality because your ancestors, um, the ancestor that is coming in specifically in this reading was a witch. And you have inherited that, that quality, those qualities from this ancestor, okay? And they are extremely proud of it. Okay, I see that moment of pride coming in. It's like, they're saying, this is my blood, this is my lineage. Consentius. Like I said, you are someone very, very conscientious. You wish to do whatever, whatever work you take on your plate, pile number four, you make sure that you do your best. Okay? Unless you do your best, you're not satisfied. It's not, not done well enough. Your ancestors are proud of you, pile number four. I see the energy of someone who is very, very um, skilled, talented, and possesses magical skills of doing something, doing any work to a degree that it is flawless. Your work is literally flawless by number four let's pick up this tarot deck which is the relative tarot deck by oh uh, carrie paris okay So let's find out what messages do we have from your, what does your ancestors want to tell you here? File number four. What does your ancestors want to tell you here? Seven of wands, stick to your ground. You are heading in the right direction, pile number four. And all you need to do is stay away from criticism. No matter what people say, no matter who criticizes your work, no matter how much situations demotivate you, no matter how much you struggle to make ends meet, stick to your craft. It is worth sticking to what you do. No matter how your external uh, uh, situations may look like. For example, you could be excellent in creating art. 
you could be creating masterpieces you could be diligently working on a piece of art for months to create the best that you can and there is a lot of criticism and nobody really appreciates what you do and your ancestors want to tell you that do not let uh external criticism affect your work keep doing what you're doing because success is very very near okay stick to your ground spine number 4 Ace of Swords, you are going to achieve this breakthrough. You are going to break through all the clouds and the 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 haze that you have. Everything is going to break away. You are going to cut clear through all the, you know, um, the confusion that you have regarding your path. judgment see i told you judgment is near there is a strong sense of achievement here when you listen to this announcement a very good positive news is about to reach you and this is going to change your situation can you see these people coming out of come coming out from their graves it's like you have been working on and on you have been putting so much of effort but you were inside a doomed grave nobody was actually appreciating nobody was looking at what you were doing but suddenly uh you know there is an announcement of your work and you are so proud of it you're enjoying this moment where your your work is advertised your work is you know shown to people with a lot of pomp and glory there are trumpets blowing out to advertise what you do so hold on and very soon you will reach your breakthrough pile number 4 six of swords where you are and where you're heading are two very different energies okay six of swords is about moving past the turbulent waters and going and reaching a shore where you have peace and comfort and calmness okay you have been working a lot you have been working hard since a very long time and slowly with this breakthrough happening with this uh you know uh, the world is getting to know about your existence on this planet earth you are slowly going to move towards a very peaceful and calmer phase of your life where you will be enjoying your time where you'll be enjoying the luxury of having some taking a break from the hard work that you've always put okay so that is your ancestors message i will pick up this oracle deck to find out more messages for you i'm using the angels and ancestors oracle card deck for you by kyle gray and let's see what does your ancestors have for you what what do pile 4 ancestors have for you medicine mother honor your inner knowing okay i i feel that you know that you are worth all the effort you know that you what you're working on is worth it success is near and you need to stick to it but still to make sure that you don't leave it half way your ancestors are trying to tell you that stick to it a little longer okay hold on to it hold on the fight for a little longer okay seven of wands is about holding on holding your ground standing your ground for a little longer because you are just about to win this 
and this card is telling you that you have you you honor your inner knowing okay you need to take action and do what you need to now okay this is the time that you need to take action you can't stop now because you've put you've already put so much of effort this medicine mother reminds you that even though you have um even though you have to face the lowest lows of your life you aren't here to suffer okay you're here to be supported and to support others let's pick up another deck and see what other messages do we have for you here beauty i see that your work is beautiful no matter i don't know how much you realize this but your ancestors are trying to remind you that your work is beautiful your work has the medicine to heal others you are the medicine mother you are beautiful your work is beautiful do not stop now your work needs to reach the public your work needs deserves to reach the crowd reach the world and spread its beauty the hard work that you have put all your life is not for you alone this deserve this deserves to be enjoyed by the rest of us and that will only happen if you persist on your work and stick to it a little longer okay everything beautiful takes time and that's what your ancestors want you to realize the beauty of your life is going to unfold and that's going to happen if you stick to your ground and stay on doing what you're doing okay your work is beautiful pile number 4 please remember that and your work holds the medicine to others okay so that was your message from your ancestors pile number 4 i hope this was helpful let me know in the comment section how it resonated please share it with your friends and family hit the like button if you like this subscribe to my channel and i will see you very soon in some other pick up pile reading okay till then take care bye bye